Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. And I am finishing up my makeup to clutter with my red lipsticks. These bad boys here are the reason that I started this YouTube channel. Not, not these guys, but red lipstick in general. I have been a long time lover of lipstick. I remember sneaking into my mom's bathroom when I was five years old and uh, getting spanked for it later because I ruined her lipstick. I ruined her lipstick and it was red and I've been in love with red lipstick since I was a tiny, tiny tot. But this is my collection of reds. Isn't this obscene? This is terrible. Okay, so I don't even know how many I have because I haven't counted them up. And this is not like red balms or like, this is just lip sticks. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dump them out and we'll go through it. seven red lipsticks here. I, I know, I know. <laughs> Nobody needs 57 red lipsticks. But here's where I'm going to tell you this is going to be the hardest for me because this is my absolute fa favorite lip product. Probably makeup product, red lipstick. Like it makes me feel empowered. It makes me feel fabulous like my kingdom for a red lipstick, apparently 57 of them. <laughs> but let's start, I'm gonna start back here. These are drugstore. Um, I did a video, I think last year, and, and I will link it for you in the description bar down below where I went through and I was trying lipsticks from the drugstore. And not all of these are in there. Some of these have been purchased since that time, but there were some that really surprised me that were so, so good. Probably the ones that surprised me the most, this one here, this is the Maybelline Ultimate Slim Lipstick. This is so good. And this is the shade More Ruby. This is a beautiful matte lipstick pigment. I mean, seriously, this dries down. This doesn't dry my lips out. I think I'm gonna hang on to this one. Another one that I know I love is another one from Maybelline. This is the Super Stay Ink Crayon. And I love this one. I think this one's just called, oh, Own Your Empire. Um, but this formula is so good. I feel like this one has a little bit more slip to it than the Ultimate one, but this has a sharpener on it so that you can sharpen this, you can line your lips with this, and then you can fill it in. Love this, I'm just keeping this. Here's one though that I don't think I'm gonna stay. I know so many people love this. I kept the one that I have in the nude, but this one here is so pretty, it's called Wicked. But okay, you gotta shake it first. The problem I have with this is this ends up on my teeth, perpetually on my teeth. I know that's a me problem, but I don't want a red that's high maintenance. And I cannot keep this from getting on my teeth. And then once it's on my teeth, like sometimes I have to get floss out to get it out from in between <laughs> where it gets on like my gums and stuff. So this one's going. Here's a newer one. This is the Elf Satin O lipstick. This one is in the shade uh, No Regrets. <gasps> She's beautiful. Look at that, like beautiful. This one is amazing. It really reminds, like, first of all, magnetic closure. Oh, love that. $9 at the drugstore. I love that they expanded their range. They came out with 10 shades. They then expanded to another 10, so they have 20 total right now. I think that maybe those 10 new shades might only be available on Elf's website. I hope they bring them to the drugstore, but I'll tell you, this is a great formula and I really like it. Here's another formula that I absolutely adore, but I don't think I need both of these shades. This is the Fetish Matte Lipstick from Milani. This one is in the shade Poppy. This is the first one I got. 
um, when I was looking for a red. This is a little bit of a deeper red. This came out with the Flora line last spring, but it is one of the most elegant lipstick formulas out there. I don't know that I'm gonna need both of these. This is one that they released for holiday. This one's called Fever. If I'm gonna keep one, I'm gonna keep Fever. And I know it doesn't look like there's a big difference, but in real life, this one's a little brighter. This one's a little deeper. I think I'm gonna keep Fever, but they're so similar. I'm gonna keep one and uh, let the other one go. Here's another one from Milani. This is the Ludacris Matte Lip Crayon. This is one, although it looks like I haven't used it, I sharpened this one. <laughs> I love that I can sharpen these guys. This is actually a really nice formula, but I haven't used it. This one, by the way, is the shade Good Side. I think I'm gonna let this go. I bet you though, my 15 year old is gonna snap this up and love it. Here's one I wanted to love and I, can't get behind. This is a newer release from L'Oreal. It's one of their um, Color Riche matte lipsticks. Mm, okay, this is the shade Rouge Avant Garde. The reason I don't like this, I like the way that the formula glides. I like that it's in slimline packaging. I like that it's smaller. It makes it easier to apply and be precise with it. The problem with this is it goes everywhere and it doesn't really stay. This is a high maintenance red. And if you're asking, okay, what's a high maintenance red? High maintenance red is a red that you, you need like a mirror and a babysitter and to touch it up like every 30 minutes. And maybe it's not touching it up, maybe it's just like cleaning up like where it's getting outside of your lip line where it kind of feathers out. Um, where this would wear off at the center like where my lips touch, like I get a bold patch there. I don't want a lipstick that's this bright and this bold, but needs its hand held. I don't have time for that. Is it a bad lipstick? No, I just don't wanna spend all the effort it takes to make it look perfect every minute of the day. Goodbye. Here's another one from L'Oreal, the Matte Color Riche. Um, this was a, a better shade, I feel, because it's like more of like an orangey red and it looks really orange here, but it's really not quite this bright. <laughs> um, but compared to the rest, it doesn't it look really orange orange? Um, I don't think I'm gonna keep this because uh, I don't love the formula. This is uh, Mattly in Love. It's okay, don't love. This lipstick is off the hook. This is the 24 hour matte from CoverGirl. This one stays. This one doesn't smudge under a mask. I love this formula. So good. Look at that. Like pigment for days. It's so, 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 so nice. This one, by the way, is called The Real Thing. Love this. This deserves to stay. Here's one from Maybelline. This is their Color Sensational Matte Lipstick. Um, this is the shade uh, Rich Ruby. I think this one's okay, but I don't I don't love it. I feel like if I'm gonna keep a Maybelline lipstick, it's not gonna be this one. It's gonna be these guys here. I feel like these guys are a much better representation of a beautiful, like luxurious lipstick from the drugstore. This one's okay. I'm not saying this one's bad. I think the formula is nice. I just prefer the smaller, more precise, like slimline packaging for a bright, bright red like this. I know I've got a lot of like traditional lipstick tubes here and that's really what this is, but um, I like the other ones better. So this one's gonna go. She's not bad though. Don't get me wrong. Cause like she gives pigment, she wears well. I just can't keep them all. Here is an oldie, but a goldie, the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick. Oh my goodness. This is such a Really great formula, but I never reach for this one. Um, this one, by the way, is the shade Classic Red. These smell like, like candy, but I'm gonna let this one go too. All right, did a little rearranging. These are all of my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. These guys aren't going anywhere, but let me swatch them for you. I love this one. This is Palazzo. This is the luxuriously loosened red. This is the red that my 15 year old asked for for her birthday, so I got her her own. I'm glad because she was always stealing mine. Love. This is Strawberry Shock. This is an insanely saturated lipstick. It pulls a little bit more pink, but I love this one. Here's the one that I don't always feel like qualifies as a red. This is Atomic Cherry. It is the sheer um, luxuriously loosened formula, but it looks a little bit more peach and coral to me, but I kept it in with the reds because Lisa says it's a red. This is Velvet Duchess. This is such a pretty deep shade. This is Velvet Morning and this is my favorite orangey red. I love this. And you can see it definitely is showing up orange like this one, but it has a little bit more red into it. I love, 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 love this one. Wear it all the time. This is my most used Lisa Eldridge lipstick and it's down to a nub. <laughs> this is Velvet Ribbon. This is the probably most reached for red in my collection. 
I love this. It is creamy. It is comfortable. It is magnificent. I have the accompanying pencil in this. Man, when this is done, I'm getting me another worth every penny. Here is one that I'm not sure I would get again. This is Velvet Jazz. Like, I like it. I just never reach for it. And I think it's because it's this deeper brick shade and maybe it's just not a vibe that I'm in right now, but like give me another year and I'll go into like these deeper brick tones. Cause I like, I never thought I was gonna be a brown lipstick person and I'm having a brown lipstick moment right now, but she's beautiful. Not my most reached for Lisa Eldridge Red. Here's another one that I don't reach for that often. This is Velvet Dragon. And mainly because it is such a warm, warm lipstick. It's a beautiful shade. But I feel like I need to spend more time with my teeth whitening trays in to feel like I can wear this confidently because the color does look good on my skin. It's just that this is so warm. It makes my teeth look yellow, but that's a me problem. All right, last one here is Velvet Enchantment. This is my new favorite red and it kind of looks less like a red and more like a, I don't know, it's like a red for beginners. Love this so much. All right, so None of my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks are going anywhere except to the side. Let's talk about the rest of these. Oh boy, oh, this is getting hard. Here is one that I've had for a long time that I actually really like. It's actually one that I got in gift from Clinique. This is called Ginger Flower. It's, oh man, like even just watching it makes me go, but maybe, no, I gotta, I gotta get rid of some stuff. I'm gonna let that one go. Here's another one that is like beyond old. Look at how old and gross this looks. But the reason I hang on to this is because it is like my favorite red summer shade from Lipstick Queen. And Lipstick Queen is no more. This is the shade Aloha because it's a sheer but comfortable balmy red. Mm. I, don't, I don't know if I can let it go. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile, but I should probably, you know what? I'm just gonna put it in the discard. Oh, that's hard. Here's one I am not getting rid of. Another Lipstick Queen. This one, do you see how much there is left? There's nearly nothing. This is the shade Medieval. I even feel like it's a shame to swatch it because it's lipstick I can't use. But this is the sheerest, most beautiful, like cherub cheek or cherub lipped red. Love this. This is basically nothing but a hydrating vitamin E stick with a very small amount of color to it. This is the one lipstick that if I could bring back from the grave, it would be this. This is everything else that I hold a sheer red lip product up to. And I will dig out every last inch once I hit that, like this little plastic part right here, I will dig everything else out till there is nothing left. I am so sad this is gone and oh, nothing but bad things to say about Forma Brands for buying this and then like putting it on the shelf. They didn't buy this, they bought the brand Lipstick Queen and then did nothing with it and now are going through bankruptcy so I will never get my beloved lipstick back. <laughs> Man. This is literally my most repurchased red. I think this is my eighth tube of this. I've been wearing this for the last 15, 16 years now? 16 years, I was pregnant when I got it. My oldest is now 15. So come on, is, yeah. This is gonna like be one of the worst things that happens to me when this is gone, but she's not going anywhere. All right, here's one I know I can let go. This is a lipstick, ooh. Look at, even look at the bullet. The bullet does not look like it's in good shape. This is one from Clinique. I really think Clinique makes really nice lipsticks. It's a really pretty color. This one here is called Code Red, but yeah, bye-bye. Another one from Clinique. This is the Clinique Pop, and this one is Cherry Pop. I love, love this red. Okay, I'm running out of places to swatch. We're gonna start doing the back of the hand here. And this one definitely looks more, you know, pinky red, like almost watermelon red, but you know what I noticed? I think it's broken, is it broken? No, it's just leaning, just leaning in the tube. I don't know. Uh, she's staying, love her. This Wayne Goss lipstick is definitely a frave. This is the shade Zinnia. It, it almost doesn't really qualify as a red, but it kind of is red-like. The reason I like this is that it's not too intense. I've used this on cheeks, I've used this on lips. Um, three years ago when I had my last brain surgery, this was the only makeup item I took with me. Um, when we had to drive to Seattle, we live in Washington state and we live five hours away from Seattle. I didn't take anything but this. And I'll tell you when I put on the right lipstick, 
I feel like anything is possible. And I was kind of like emotionally girding my loins with my new favorite lipstick at the time, which was this one from Wayne Goss. Um, I took it with me to the hospital. It was the first thing I reached for when I was awake in my room after coming out of recovery. Um, love, love, love. This isn't going anywhere. I really like this formula though because it's creamy, but it's not too shiny. It, it's, it's perfect. Zinnia is great. It's the most red tone that Wayne makes because Wayne does not like red lipsticks, but I love this. This Merit lipstick is a really fun lipstick. This one is called Cabo. It's more of an orange, but it's kind of an orangey red. So I'm keeping it in here. I need to wear this more this summer. This is the sort of stuff that I like to wear in the summertime, kind of like a bright tomato red. That's what this is and that's what I'll do, hanging on to this. So this packaging doesn't have the right lipstick in it. This packaging should have like the Olivia Palermo lipstick in it, it doesn't. This one has a red in there because it's refillable. So I got the Patsy Red lipstick that I have been dying to try from Charlotte and I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's such a good color red, I mean, come on. Love this, um, but I love the refillable packaging and I like that this one has Black Panthers on it. This right here is a refill um, for my House of Siage bow lipstick holder. Um, this is the shade Queen, look at that. Such a pretty red. Now you can use it if you were just to like roll it up like this, but if you put it in this, you can't turn it up. This is only just the like the case to house it. The reason that it's in this right now and not in this is because I've got one of the balms in here right now. So I keep all of my House of Siage refills to go in here, in here. Um, part of me was like, you know what? I should get another one of these to put this in. I was like, no, don't spend over a hundred dollars on just the packaging, but I love it. I love it. I need to remind myself that I don't need another bow holder for all, like to each one of these have them housed in a bow holder because those guys are so expensive, but I love. Okay, let's talk about the rest of these. I have YSL and I have Besame. Besame makes some beautiful kind of matte lipsticks. This one is, oh, Victory Red. Okay, so this lipstick here, okay. <laughs> awkward swatch. There we go. It's right here. This is one of my absolute favorite reds. This red is actually based off of, I think a 1941 or 1942 lipstick that the USO used to give out to women in the military, um, nurses and what have you, to wear for morale. <laughs> like talk about pulling yourself up by your lipstick bootstraps. Like I can do anything if I'm wearing the right lipstick. And I think that's where I got this idea of, you know, as a kid, I watched a lot of um, black and white films from the 30s and the 40s from the golden age of Hollywood. I remember seeing, even though they were in black and white, I could always tell it was red lipstick. And I think that's why I really, really fell in love with it. But I love this red. This formula is so good. I love that. I know Bessame really hangs her hat on making red lipsticks. I don't want too many of them. This one here I think is broken. Um, this one is cherry red. I don't feel like I could just, maybe I'll swatch it here. Oh yeah, it is broken. Oh, that's so sad. All right, let me swatch it for you, but that might be the sign that this one needs to go. Yeah. Oh, such a pretty color, but I don't think I want to hang on to this. Oh, Besame, so sad. My favorite one from Besame, and the one that I reach for the most, is this one. This is this is limited edition packaging. Normally, you can still get it in packaging like this, this little dome shape, but this was from the Marilyn Monroe collection. This is a shade they have all the time. This is called Red Hot Red, and this is kind of more of a bright orangey red. It's right here. Love, love, love. This is such a good one, especially for summer and springtime when you want a punchy red. So I have two shades of the YSL Rouge Tatouage Couture Liquid Lipsticks. Um, this one here is shade number 10. I don't reach for this one. I think I need to let this one go. I love this formula though. This formula is so good. Um, I, I also really like how the paddle is kind of like this square shape. It's perfect for lining your lips. This wears well, doesn't dry my lips out. If I'm gonna wear a liquid lipstick, I'm gonna wear this, but I think I can let that go because my favorite one and the one I would repurchase is this little sample that I got. And this matte stain is in the shade number one. And the shade number one in all of the YSL lipsticks is like my fave shade. Love this so much. Hanging on to the little baby, letting the big mama go. 
So these two are also shade number one. This right here is just the regular um, Pure Rouge Couture lipstick. This is such a great lipstick, um, but it's kind of like a satin cream. Really pretty, I like this. I don't know if I need this. I, I love it. <laughs> this is my favorite though. Like if you're gonna get a lipstick, get this bold one. This is the Pure Couture, the bold lipstick, also shade number one. Let me just swatch it for you here. This is like mega pigment. Now, I don't know if you're looking at these going, they don't look very different. They're exactly the same shade. The formula is different. This one's a little shinier. This one has some shine to it too, but this one kind of, I feel like this one stays better. This one here that comes with the black packaging, I love this. Creamy, long wearing, beautiful, um, but this is the one, like if I ever finish this up, I'm repurchasing this. You know what? In that case, I should I should let somebody else love that other YSL lipstick for me. But I love this one. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. All right, this has been my eternal favorite. Look, I even got my uh, YouTube name monogrammed on here. Um, this is the YSL Rouge Volupte Shine. This is the shade Rouge Tuxedo. It's my replacement favorite sheer red for the one from Lipstick Queen. This is my second or third bullet of this. I don't remember how many of these I've gone through. I've been using this lipstick for like seven or eight years. Love it so much. And I got another one of these when I went to shop for one of these and couldn't find it. And then I'm like, well, I'm gonna do this. Anyway, love this lipstick. Such a gorgeous shade. I'm a mess. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting there. Here is one I'm gonna let go. This is the Chanticleer Lip Veil. I wore this the other day because I was talking about how I was a little bit disappointed. I'm gonna start swatching on the other side. This is the shade Ruby, and you see how pink she is? This is not a red lipstick, not even close. <laughs> and I wore it and it was nice. This is $52, and I didn't buy it like just for this. It came in my Beautylish Lucky Bag this January. And this was a shade that they created just for holiday 2022. I have only wore it a handful of times, but I never really loved it, mainly because it says Ruby on the bottom. It's in this beautiful bright red packaging. It looks red and then it comes out pink and I'm like, no. So I bet you if I put it in my discard bin, my 15 year old's gonna snap it up. And if you're wondering why 15 year old's wearing red lipstick, she wears whatever she wants and red lipstick makes her happy. Just like it made me happy. My mom never let me wear red lipstick until I was like away at college. I always wanted a red lipstick, but I was not allowed to wear it. <laughs> um, and I bought so many red lipsticks when I went away to college, my mom thought it was too mature of a color for a teenager. But I just let my daughter wear whatever she wants. So she likes red, she wears whatever. She borrows mine all the time. This is one that makes me mad. Not as mad as the lipstick queen, but this is the Amuse Bouche lipstick from Bite. This is my favorite red. This is Gaspacho. Okay, let's swatch this little beauty here. Swatches on my non-dominant hand are always, I mean, come on, look at that pigment. <gasps> what? I'm sorry, Bite. I, I don't know that I can, it's not even available anymore. No, oh, I can't keep it. Here's one that I didn't like. They replaced this beautiful amuse bouche with this business here. This was their Power Move Soft Matte Lipstick. This is a shade Hot Tomato. Love the shade, hated this formula. And I kept it because I was like, well, I paid a lot of money for it. No, should have kept the amuse bouche and gotten rid of this business here. Mm. Some people really like this. I didn't like it. It bunched up. It didn't wear well. It didn't reapply well over itself. Goodbye. This one from Bite, this one really made me sad. This one is called Sangria Slush. This is their Outburst Lip Stain. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna swatch this right here in one really small swipe because this will literally stain my hand. But I loved this color. This though was the equivalent of a high maintenance red. This is one where if your hair got stuck in it, like on a windy day and you pull it out, because it never really sets, it would pull like a little teeny tiny trail of color out. And this will stain your, I don't know how many times I had like little tiny squiggles where my hair got caught in it. And then I went later, oh, it's, I have lipstick there. And I was trying to wipe it off my face and it was stained. <laughs> um, I'll be happy to let this go, but this was a really beautiful formula. They only had three shades in this, like a pink and a orange and this red, but I, I liked it. I'm so sad that Bite is no more. This is the lipstick 
I have kind of been on the hunt for, but it's not the same. This is probably, price per ounce, one of the most expensive lipsticks in my collection because Hourglass ch charges a pretty penny for these Confession Slim lipsticks. I have the shade my icon is. The reason I have, well, first of all, it's a beautiful red shade. Love this. Um, the reason I picked this up, look how beautiful that is. Oh, so good is because it's refillable, but look how tiny, look how teeny tiny this is, this is a little small. You're getting nearly nothing in here. Good thing it's super pigmented. But what I'll tell you is years ago, like 16 years ago when I discovered Hourglass for the first time, they used to have a refillable lipstick that was like normal size, like something like this or this or this, like not this teeny tiny little guy. And my favorite shade was Icon. They had it in their liquid lipstick. They had it in their refillable packaging that was big. And then when they got rid of that and they came out with these little tiny guys, now you're paying like an arm and a leg for nearly nothing. But this shade Icon was my favorite. This is like my favorite red. I, I think of it as my Snow White red. It's the red that like I remember as a kid loving. It brings out all the right colors in my face. It's magnificent. Love, love, love. Love. Just wish it wasn't so expensive. This is a refill that goes in that same little applicator and um, this one is called At Dusk. It's a pretty color. It's a little bit deeper. I'm gonna keep it, but I don't reach for it as much as Icon. But I like that, you know, on its own, unlike the ones from House of Siage, you can actually, you know, carry this with you. You don't have to have one of the applicators to put it on. Although, like, bougie and pretty you don't have to have this is a new favorite red this is the victoria beckham what is this called the posh lipstick man this one's so good this is the shade pop it's a red i think the red is kind of new to victoria's line she had a lot of nudes but this lipstick is so great i love that it comes in this skinny little package i love skinny red lipsticks because i get a lot of precision especially the older i get <laughs> the more helpful it is love okay this blew my socks off it makes me want to know if I need more Natasha Denona lipsticks. This is the I Need a Rouge in the shade Gigi. This is kind of like a warm red, but it's like massive instant pigment. It's just like boom, love, love, love. I also have been thinking, do I need the accompanying lip liner? No, I don't, but so good. Lasts all day. Here's one that I picked up for $7.99 at Marshalls. Um, and it kind of was surprising to see it there because when did Gwen launch these? Like maybe a year, year and a half ago? Okay, so this is the Anaheim Shine kind of cream lipstick in the shade Original Recipe. This, like I feel like, ooh, how's there already cat hair in there? <laughs> this lipstick, okay, it's not bad. I'll tell you that. But I feel like the Marshalls price is what it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> it feels more like a drugstore lipstick than a luxury lipstick. I don't know that I would pay full price for Gwen's lipsticks. I like the color. The color is nice, but it's definitely more one of those kind of like pinky leaning reds and not like a deep, deep red. It's not also, it's not nearly as pigmented as this one from Natasha or these ones right here from Hourglass. It is definitely a sheer red. I mean, I don't know. There's a, a, a wide variety of reds, but this one doesn't impress me. If anyone's gonna make like the best red ever, it's gonna be Gwen, because she's been wearing red lipstick forever and a day. I don't know, I'm gonna hang on to it. I haven't had it that long. I'm gonna keep trying it, but this is not the one that I would say you need to have. I think I'm only hanging on to it because I just got it. I love this lipstick, but the packaging is just so, so much. Okay, I've been trying so hard to keep it clean because it's velvet, but everything sticks to it, like just, that's the reality. Everything sticks to this. This is from Lancome. This was one of their Valentine lipsticks last year. Look, it's a heart. I know. Um, this is the shade Lucky in Love 121. This is one of their Labsolu Rouge Matte Lipsticks. I have the perfect lip liner for this. I love this. It's a little darker than I normally wear, but it's not as dark as like the one from Lisa Eldridge, the Velvet Jazz. This is about as dark as I like to go in a red and I'm hanging on to this. This is from Jane Iredale. I picked this up on a whim once. Okay, so I went in to my hair salon and I realized I had not brought a lipstick with me and my red lipstick was looking kind of and they sold Jane Iredale, so I picked this up. Um, this is the shade Margie. Um, I really like this lipstick and I have used like a ton of it. 
Um, this was the one that lived a whole summer in my like wallet and my wallet had my phone, like a couple of credit cards and this lipstick in there. Love this. This is a really good one, but I haven't used it in a while. I think I'm going to put it in the declutter pile. Oh, I can't believe I did that. All right. This is a, a Mac powder kiss lipstick. This is the only like powder kiss I have. I really like this formula. So pretty, so pretty. This, by the way, is the shade Shocking Revelation. I don't really like a lot of MAC lipsticks, but this Powder Kiss formula is so pretty. It's a little bit blurring, it's matte, but it's not uncomfortable. I don't like their Retro Matte formula. That is like punishing on my lips. I don't like their regular matte formula. I feel like a lot of MAC lipsticks are overrated, and I know if I'm saying that, and MAC is your favorite, different preferences, and that's totally fine. I have tried so many. They're cream sheen, like I've, all of them. I've been buying MAC lipsticks for like 20 years, and this is one of the few that I have kept. I really like this formula. I really like this shade, and I need to use it more. Here's one that makes me so sad, because this was the formula that I fell in love with. This was the Liptensity formula. They don't make this anymore. Come on, MAC, why would you do that? Because like, look at that. That's one swipe. Boom, perfect. And this was the shade Mulling Spices. Man. Such a good lipstick, but I think I'm gonna let this go because like, I think I have this shade like a million times over. Oh, if they still made this formula, I would be buying MAC lipsticks for sure. Here's one I'm trying to love, but I, I can't figure out. This is from Dior. This is the Rouge Dior Forever 999. Some people really love this formula. This is a matte, like no budge formula. The problem I have with this, I like the color. It's really beautiful. I like that it's kind of a warm red. I like that about it. The problem I have with it is that anywhere where my lips come together, it starts to pull up on itself. The other thing I hate is that you can't put the packaging on wrong or you will give it a little stress crack. Like I have one there, I have another one here because I didn't put it on the right way and it was trying to force it. It's not rectangular enough to notice. It's just enough to break the packaging because when I was at Sephora trying to swatch and discover which one I wanted, I saw every single cap cracked up to here. So if you have one of these, be careful, be mindful to keep it looking nice. Um, I'm going to keep it for now, but I'm not running out to buy any more of these. I cannot wait till M Cosmetics comes out with red lipsticks in their new formula, their soft spoken formula. This is the Infinite Lip Cloud. I love this. And this one is such a pretty red. Like, come on, look at that, love. I'm hanging on to this. This one, by the way, is called Red Divine. It is divine. I love this. And I think that once M comes out with a color like this in their new formula, I'd be happy to let this go, but not until then. This is another liquid lipstick that is worth it. This is one that a friend gave to me this holiday. This is the cream lipstick, the satin cream, whatever it is, the matte one from Sephora. Look at that, it's so pretty. This one though, I need to be careful with because um, I love the color. I like, it wears really well. This liquid lipstick is no joke. It doesn't really go anywhere. The problem I have with this is if I don't start out with perfectly moisturized lips, I think this one, I can't really tell. I think this one is um, red velvet. Or red moon I don't remember it's one of the deeper darker reds I'm gonna hang on to it another liquid lipstick formula that I absolutely adore but they all have the same thing in common they're fluffy they're soft they're mousse like this is from rare beauty this is the lip souffle and this one is in the shade inspire I love this it is much more of a like orangey red shade it is so comfortable really love I'm hanging on to this I'm glad it's in a mini though because I, I don't think I use it often enough to be able to merit having a large one these last two guys here are from Estee Lauder I don't know that I'm going to keep both of them but these came in holiday blockbusters obviously in different years this is this year's this is the shade immortal oh I do love the snowflake on the outside of the bullet so pretty and I do love their lipstick formula it is really nice. It's been a long time since I've had like a, I don't know that Immortal is the one, since I've had one of these in their actual packaging that they sell them in, like the 30 what dollar price point. And this one here is in the shade Excite. I think I know which I'm keeping. Yeah, Excite. Okay, Excite is for me, Immortal is not. So I'm gonna let this one go and I'm gonna hang on to this one. 
Oh my goodness gracious, I am all swatched up. Give me a minute to go clean up the red lipstick and I'll be right back. I did some counting and these are the 20 lipsticks that I'm not keeping. And these are the 37 that I'm not getting rid of. I can't believe that I'm hanging on to 37 red lipsticks. Okay, I know that's not right, but I'm gonna do it. Part of it is I like to be able to compare things. I like to be able to compare formulas, shades, things like that. But, oh, I should do, I'm not, okay. I'm gonna quit beating myself up and just call it good here. Just know that these pretty pretties are gonna live a very happy life being seen and used more regularly in my collection. I would love to know what your makeup Achilles heel is. Obviously mine is red lipstick. <laughs> Um, are there things that you perpetually repurchase? Like maybe a certain, for me, Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. Maybe you're purchasing concealer or powder. You're always looking for the perfect formulation. Maybe you have a certain shade of blush you always buy. Let me know what you have. Like, it doesn't have to be 37 or even 57, but like a little collection of that you're like, maybe that's too many. Let me know in the description bar down below. I will also link down below all of my declutters. This is the last one and I'm all done. If you're interested in seeing kind of like a collection tour, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have an incredible day and me and my red lipstick. We'll see you again soon.